how do you describe what Luca was able to do, particularly in that, that first quarter to get you guys off to a great start? Yeah, I think, um, you know, on this road trip, he's been setting the tone early. Um, and, and as our leader, um, he came out and set the tone offensively. Um, but I thought not just Luca, but the group um, was ready, you know, to come in. Houston's playing at a high level. They've won 11 in a row. This was a good test for us. Uh, but Luca got us off to a good start offensively. But our defense, um, I thought the guys executed the defense uh, to, to a tee tonight and making sure the ball found other guys. Uh, we knew that Green was playing at a high level, so we tried to just, you know, keep it tough on him, knowing that he can make tough shots. But um, Luca, again, was Luca. What did you see on that one underhanded shot when uh, shot clock was running out? And whatever it was. Well, we've been lucky enough to be around him for three years, and we've seen him kick the ball in. Uh, we've seen him shoot from half court, full court, sitting in a chair. So. Um, to see him do that, I don't know if I think a lot of people got excited, but I think at the same time, everybody that's Luca. You know, he's always uh, able to make tough shots. Um, again, Picasso, when you give him the paintbrush, he's going to do something special, and that shot was pretty special. The way he controlled the game in the first quarter, I mean, I was watching and I thought this could be his MVP highlight reel, just the way he dominated every facet. Yeah, I, I think when you talk about uh, the best player in the world, um, understanding that the time and, and where we are in the schedule and on this road trip, he came out and showed why he's one of the best in the world. Um, he, he set the tone offensively. His voice, uh, you, you could hear his voice. Um, and then, you know, finding his teammates. But uh, again, he, 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 can, he can put the ball in the basket. And if they're going to red and, and play the defense that we saw tonight, it's up to him to do his job, and he did that at a high level tonight. And it wasn't just Luka, I mean, you got no. 20 ball on Kyrie. Just talk about his contribution. Yeah, Kai, again, the chemistry of playing off of one another. One is going, the other one is just uh, hovering uh, to wait his turn. And, and Kai, I thought, did a great job there in the second half of being able to play the one-on-one -on -one and being able to, to score. Um, when those two don't see double teams, I think though, you know, Kai and Luca take advantage of that, and uh, and Kai did that tonight, um, being that in the second half um, to be able to, you know, get to the basket or take the three in rhythm. But uh, again, that's that's what they've been doing here of late is playing off of one another, and Kai is playing at a high level. Uh, but I know he's not going to just talk about offense, but his defense I thought was at a high level t tonight, um, being able to ball pressure being able to get deflections uh, and, and being able to be in the right place at the right time. I thought all five of those guys did a great job when I'm talking about the starters the, to set the tone defensively. Physicality was at a high, knowing that Houston's going to scrap their small. So I, I thought, again, our bigs did a good job. 4-0 on this road trip, which was not an easy road trip to begin with, and with one more difficult leg. What is it? tell you about, you know, this team's ability to kind of keep us blinders on? Yeah, I think um, to that point, we validated uh, the Sacramento trip with this win. Um, and then if you look at Utah, we validated that win with the Sacramento game. So now we go back to California where we just left and, uh, and play Golden State. Uh, again, Golden State is fighting um, for a playoff uh, spot. So um, they're playing well. Um, they've been in this situation, and so this should be a good test for us on Tuesday. Um, being our last game, we can't look forward to going home. We've we got to be pros and continue to uh, understand where we stand and what we're fighting for. Coach, you didn't see too much blitzing tonight, but when teams do blitz, how do you feel like you guys have handled in the pocket making plays off the short goal? Yeah, our bigs have been great all season. We've seen the advantage basketball. Um, Gafford, if he's not finishing on the rim, um, D Live or Gaff not finishing at the rim, those guys have been great at being able to find uh, the corners or the slots. Just understanding the, the, the preparation of uh, the rotations, uh, those guys have watched a lot of film and understand what's coming. And so I think they've done an incredible job knowing that Luca and Kyrie are going to get double teamed. Is that a benefit of having Kyrie as a screener in some instances where, you know, it's hard to, it's hard when a, a big is making those plays, but when, 
Yeah, you know, I think we've used Kai in that situation. We, we try to use uh, everyone so that they can understand um, that the situation, the feeling of being able to roll that we're not just one dimension. A lot of times in a double team, we don't want to put Kai in that situation because we know they're not going to leave. So that just makes advantage basketball a little bit easier for us. Uh, with PJ, with, uh, with D. Jones uh, and others. But uh, again, when Gaff catches it in the paint, his job is to go score first, and he did that tonight. When you guys see Jalen Green, as hot as he was coming into this game, yeah, the team accepted that challenge. He's, he's playing at a very high level, and uh, we try to throw as many bodies and different schemes at him just to keep him off the off rhythm. Uh, he's a guy who can make tough shots, uh, and he was playing. I mean, he was averaging thirty something a night. So, uh, for our group to to hold him to twelve, uh, you know, you got to tip your hat. The guys really were uh, focused and locked in on what they had to do tonight. You guys are not tired for the fifth smile, which is keep it going? Yeah, we have no choice. Um, we got to finish this until the end of the season, and then we'll figure out where we are in the seedings. Thanks. Thanks. Go ahead, guys. Why do you think you guys were uh, so uh, – did such a good job against Kareem. What was the key to that? Uh, obviously, we know he's been having great games lately, so we try to take him out of the game early and uh, make it hard for him and uh, make somebody else beat us. So um, every time he came off the pick and roll, we just want to be aggressive with him and get the ball out of his hands. When Luca has it going like that, PJ, what goes on your mind when you watching all that magic he's doing out there? <laughs> it's just magic. I mean. I just, I mean, I just enjoy him being himself out there and just going out there and dominating each and every night. So it's special to watch. And um, obviously playing with a player like that is, is special. So, I mean, it's exciting for me too. Um, and I, I hope he does it again next game too. So for sure. I if you were on the court or on the bench when he made the underhanded. No, I was on the court when I seen that. I, I've never seen anything like that in <laughs> an NBA game ever. So just the fact that he's doing stuff like that is crazy to me. So. It just shows how easy the game is for him. And like I said, I'm just glad I'm on his team now, so. Is it like a game of works or something? Or? I don't know. I mean, whatever game it is, I feel like he's always winning. So <laughs> I'm just glad uh, we got a dub tonight. And I'm glad everybody hit shots and played well on the defensive end. And uh, we stuck to the game plan and got a good, a good win tonight. You guys, you guys are one last by your last 12. Uh, when you got it going like this, can you? Pinpoint one reason why we got to go in like that. Um, I just feel like we're there for each other. We're connected on both ends of the floor. Uh, no matter if the guy's missing shots, we're um, telling them to keep shooting. And we're there for each other. Uh, no matter what, I feel like this, this team is uh, gelled together. And uh, we're on a good uh, path right now. And uh, we're just taking everything one game at a time. How much personal satisfaction do you take in uh, locking down their biggest score? Uh, a lot. I mean, uh, a lot. I mean, that's my job to come out here and get stopped. So I take a lot of uh, pride in that, and I'm just excited to come out here and show uh, how, how I can guard defensively. Over the past few weeks, the defense as a team has improved uh, substantially. What are the key areas that have improved in your opinion? Uh, just physicality, um, rebounding, and uh, just being in the right spots. I feel like, um, and being able to talk on that end as well is, is important. So I feel like we're doing a great job of that right now, and everybody's connected down there. And obviously, uh, Gaff and Lively have been great uh, blocking stuff at the rim. So, um, yeah. Kind of a crazy road trip. I was already in all California. Now I got to go back there. Yeah, I'm pretty mad about that. But <laughs> I don't really want to get on this flight, but this will come with it. So, <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you, Jeff. Lucas, ready?